let your mercy locate me let your grace rest upon me is someone praying lift your voice and pray father i'm tired of this level this is a messy conference there is no excuse there is no reason why i should be at the same level is someone praying spiritually you have encompassed this mountain long enough financially in your influence let there be proof that i met you let there be proof that my tarrying upon this mountain was worth the while it's time to visit my family it's time to visit my destiny someone pray I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life will change I will never be the same I've touched your grace my life must change i will never be the same i've touched your grace prophesy to yourself i will never be the same i've touched your grace i will never be the same your grace my life must change i will never be the same i've touched your grace my life must change this song listen please this song is not a special number it's a testimony is what can happen to a man when you really encounter the mercy and the grace of God that your life can turn around it says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the Lord has done great things for us he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity turn again our captivity someone turn it into prayer lord change things change things change things new testimonies i encounter your mercy and i encounter your grace let things change let things turn around I, 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 I.
must change. My home must change. My home must change. My life must change. My life must change. My speech must change. My speech must change. I can never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life will change. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Psalms 102 and verse 13. Please keep standing and let's read together. Psalm 102. Truly. God is changing us. Truly. It's not a preacher's talk. It's true. Across the body of Christ, seasons are shifting. Across families, seasons are shifting. You see, God, God is not careless about the system that he puts in place. You only need to be sensitive to know that God is shifting people from one dimension to the other. God is turning souls to Paul. God is turning all kinds of things, bringing glory out of ashes. This is why this conference is a messy conference. The Bible says, thou shall arise. It's amazing that God needs to stand up to show mercy. Mercy is that serious. There are two reasons why he arises. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. And now he says, arise shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman for the time the time the moment the time to favor him yea the set time is come Lord arise don't sit down again arise for the time show mercy because without your mercy favor cannot come it is your mercy that will birth the favor that i need for the season in my life therefore thou shall arise and have mercy upon your zion for the time to favor her yet the set time has come lift your voice and turn this scripture into prayer we are praying today please pray please pray lord arise is there someone praying thou shall arise thou shall arise thou shall arise have mercy upon my family upon my career upon my spiritual life for the time to favor the time to lift me the time to honor me hallelujah first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 never forget this scripture for the rest of your life in the name of jesus first samuel chapter 12 please and verse 6 Then Samuel said to the people, The Lord who appointed Moses and Aaron and who brought your ancestors from the land of Egypt is a witness. Another version says it was God who advanced Moses and Aaron. It was God who advanced Moses. God bless you. It was the Lord that did what? advanced Moses is God that pushes people forward it takes more than intention and desire someone turn it into a prayer push me forward move me forward from this realm from this dimension lift your voice house of David lift your voice and pray it was the Lord that caused Moses
Moses to advance. It was the Lord that caused Aaron to advance. Is someone praying? It was the Lord that caused Moses and Aaron to advance. Keep praying. 